Meghan Markle here. Today is March 17th, 2024. It is 3.43 a.m. I've been, I should have started editing or at least the videos that I recorded yesterday, I should have finished them. I only edit one. <laughs> I did three, I only edit one. And uh, after I finished edit uh, the first one, I was exhausted. I was exhausted, um, started cleaning the house. One of the things that I did while cleaning, I came across uh, a New York City bike map of 2014. I actually have it in front of me uh, when I did the five ball bike tour with my husband. And I think my oldest was with us at that time. I don't fully remember. So I took pictures of the map and posted on my community board on our part of Pure Service because a uh, couple weeks ago, I believe, uh, Invictus was mentioning about um, the bike tour that's coming. I believe it's in May uh, of this year. Um, it's going to come. So to warn people, if they want to participate, they could do it and all of that. And in one video, I mentioned it that I did it before. I've done it several times. Um, so when I came across the map and I decided to take a picture of it and post it on my community board. And also, while cleaning, um, actually my husband found it. It's, uh, I have it in front of me as well, but I took pictures of it. But the picture were coming really good so i took a video of it of uh, my training i wrote myself some program to work out that was back in 2017. so i took a picture of it to show you you know i've always been into the fitness and things like that it's during the pandemic i sort of stop and then i've gained some weight throughout the pandemic i was eating right the only thing i was not doing was exercise and going outside often i started doing it like uh, every morning go walk to the park and stuff like that and then one of those uh, morning walks i believe the police stopped a group of us not just me a group of us from entering the park because it was uh not seven o'clock yet and i love to walk early in the morning really early um like six o'clock if i could even earlier but i have to be very careful because when there's not a lot of people out there god forbid if something happened at least there could be witness but i like to go around six o'clock or whatever it was fine before but for some reason that particular morning the police had stopped runners uh cyclists like me i was just walking um stop all of us from entering the park the park is huge it's huge um so i love to see the sun rise and all of that so ever since then i stopped going and this is when i started um gaining weight um i was eating right it's just that i was not doing any movement during the pandemic so yeah uh when i came across the the program my exercise program 2017 i thought i share it with you i kept it because there's a possibility i might follow it again but now i have a clear um 
thing I, I posted on my community board. This is a rant. Feel free to skip, okay? Since I've been sharing a couple things here and there with you, so I might expose that. Those who care could listen. Those who don't care, just skip. I try to put the timestamp um, on the comment section. Uh, not comment. In the description, you could just skip to it. So, the last time I posted on my community board my what I was eating, and I wrote a long rent <laughs> a long um caption saying that now that i sort of have a clear mess um a goal okay before my first goal was to get into the habit of going back to the gym okay like certain time i know i have to go to the gym i know i have to go to the gym i push myself to it it's not easy believe me it's not easy so I, now i understand why some people have certain time, um, hard time to get into the fitness mode. But I was always into fitness, but the pandemic sort of crushed that. Um, so getting back into the process of exercising again, I know I have to get into the habit of going to the gym. So that was my first goal. The habit of leaving the house, go to the gym and do something usually once i'm in the gym i'm good but leaving the house and walk to the gym that was the problem for me so i, I so far i think i've accomplished that okay so now it clicked to me this week it i literally saw it i, I mean before i saw it but i didn't care um once I started going to the gym, I was like, I need to get my weight down. Just that I wasn't weighing myself like I used to do. All I was doing, continue eating healthy, whatever. Don't even bother with the portion size, nothing. Okay, getting into the gym and eat. And eat meaning that I'm eating right. Okay, this, the eating right was not a problem to me. I've always eating right and stuff like that. And now... And then while I was doing all of this, mentally, I was um, cutting certain things, minor things. Um, occasionally on Fridays, I'll drink beer or wine or something like that. So I cut that. Okay. I didn't cut it out of my system completely, but I try not to crave it too much. If I crave it and I really want it, guess what? I'm going to do it. Okay. So I cut on that. Now, when I started seeing the changes... What what do I mean by seeing the changes? When I'm at the gym, I'm looking at myself, doing the workout, and I'm looking at my figure. Okay, what, you know, how do I feel about the way I'm, I'm looking at myself right now? Okay, so it, it then bothered me, so I continued doing the thing, getting into the gym, getting into the gym. And I, I saw I was losing weight, and then the only thing that I saw that wasn't good was my abdominal, my stomach. Now, while I was doing all the exercises, full body and everything, occasionally I will throw the abdominal workout. But the way that I do it, it's really intense and I have a bad back. So I sort of ignore my abdominal completely. Okay, so now this week it clicked me. It clicked in my head. Okay, I see my entire body looking good. The only thing I did not like was my stomach. So now I have a clear goal is to get the stomach down and then um, do what I need to do. All right. So I, while I was talking, I will be putting the video. I was taking picture of the work um, of my training program. What I had, I think I have another one. I have a lot. Depend on how I was feeling around that time. Once I did one particular goal, I reached it and I wrote myself another program. I have a lot. I don't know if I still have them or if I threw them away. They're probably in the computer somewhere, but um, I had to search for them. Um, while I'm talking, I'll be showing you the videos. I started taking pictures. It didn't look good. And then I was like, let me take a quick um, video of it. So I did the video and then... Um, while I was preparing my coffee and I took a video of that. Okay, so this is my back end. That's it with my fitness thing. All right, so if, you know, the Rangers wasn't um, into my videos and all of that, I won't mind sharing with you. I used to record myself do, um, doing my exercise and, and things like that. I won't mind sharing this thing with you. But there are so many crazy people out there, so that's that. All right, so this is my back end. 
3,853 subscribers, new subscribers welcome, there's the estimate, with the, what is it, the other day, YouTube uh, sent me something that, um, about membership, so, and I saw some people were donating to me, I don't even know where those money goes, this is why I keep on saying, do PayPal or Cash App or something like that. I don't know if it's to this donation and YouTube was telling me to do that. So I don't know. I probably will do the membership. You guys, obviously, you have your option whether you want to or not. The reason I did not want to do membership, I didn't want people to expect. Okay, this is the thing here. Once you have membership, you tell your subscribers, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And then I cannot deliver. That's where I... Uh, I become wary with the membership. So if I do the membership, just know you're not going to get anything different. Okay? People who were, uh, when I had um, PYTE membership, and this is what I told people, don't expect anything. Everything that I want to share with you, you will see it. People who subs uh, who's members, who's not members, or whatever. It's just that you feel like you want to support my channel, that will be it. Alright, so if I do that, this is the premises of it. Don't expect anything special. <laughs> but occasionally, when I go on trips and let's say, for instance, one of the things that I share with my members on PYTE was, um, I've always said, when my husband and I met and things like that, uh, he always have a, a different version of it. And we went on a vacation, we were in the car, we were just BSing, okay? All of us, four of us, my husband and I and the kids, we were just BSing. And then my husband started telling the kids how we met, okay? So he started telling the kids some nonsense and we were just laughing and my youngest in particular <laughs> joined in and all of that. So I did record that. And I share that with you guys on my, as a um, part of my membership uh, thing. So... And every time he talks about it, he has a different version of it. So I share one of the version with you guys. And we went hiking. I shared that, um, some part of it and things like that. So things like that, maybe occasionally I'll throw in. But don't expect any special, any specialty kind of videos. So um, if I do, um, I'll start thinking about it and see if it's something I want to do because I don't want people who decided to be a member uh, to all of a sudden. And that's the same thing I said on my Patreon. Don't expect anything special because everything that I want to share with you are right there. The only thing that will prevent me from sharing it is YouTube. Okay? So, but this is why I prefer the PayPal and Cash App if you have extra to just donate there. And I wasn't seeing the numbers. Look at this one. Since uh, the beginning of this month, it's been stuck on $100 plus. All right. So these are the numbers. Let's look at analytic and then go straight to Twitter. There is the number here. I have a lot to share with you. And I think I added more. I said I wrote 22, but I think I have more than 22 tweets to share with you because I've added some more as I keep on refreshing my uh, Twitter page. Okay. So let's get started. Let's go on Twitter. Um, this is on the list. That was one of them I added and I don't think I counted. Okay, so this is the first one. And I think I bookmark where I responded. Why did I do this? Okay, it started here. The jokes by themselves wasn't he the one who marked Megan when she revealed she was suicidal. That Pierce, such a vile little man, is completely obsessed with Megan, but now he is toast, sunk from talk TV host to YouTuber what an end to his plan. Okay. I thought I responded to that. Or did I send it? All right. So that's the laugh here. This is where it started. Okay. Peace Morgan. This. From Jemima Goldsmith. I don't know who's that. I fear that all the Kate and Williams jokes on social media and especially the Stephen Colbert materials are going to seem cruel and regrettable with hindsight. It's too easy to forget, especially on Twitter, that these are real people. <sighs> okay, when you guys were marking Megan, I think this is why the, the squad tweeted that. When he was marking Megan, isn't Megan a real person? Okay, so there's that here. I just read that. Why did I only bookmark this? This is an ad. Well, it was Pierce who named Kate as one of the people questioning skin color. I will never believe it, but now we can start the process 
of finding out if they ever got uttered, what the context was, and whether there was any racial intent at all. Like I say, I don't believe there was. The royals who are named in this book are King Charles and Catherine, Princess of Wales. Okay, people are just laughing. Oh yeah, these are all the uh, headlines of Piers Morgan talking about Meghan. Okay, um, after this I'm going to the next one. So this person tagged the person, Jemima Goldsmith, with Duchess of Sussex. It wasn't even a joke. It was Piers Morgan and Jeremy Clarkson being viciously cruel. Piers Morgan announced on national TV to the world that he didn't believe because he loathed Megan for spawning him and stalking her and was getting money from the British royal family for attacking her daily. Okay. <laughs> when they're putting those symbols, it's because they're running out of character on Twitter. So they're putting um, these things here. Okay. Senior members of the royal family wanted them back after the transition period and were ready to continue playing dirty to make this happen. They never thought the trial period would work and try everything to make it fail, starting with the removal of security and then signing off on a 12-month assault by the UK press on Harry and Meghan and everyone in their orbit. So that's when they left and then, um, you know, after the syndrome and there was supposed to be a trial period and then all of a sudden they pulled their security and all of that and all everything, you know, went haywire. Okay, they've been coming at Harry and Meghan for eight years, and four years of which Harry and Meghan were independent of their taxpayers' funding. Time to humanize Harry and Meghan as well. There's one video that I had on PYTE where I, the, I, I don't remember the image that I put on the thumbnail, but I remember saying the Sussex Squad humanized Harry and Meghan. But the others, they were, phew. Okay. That's what this remind me. Time to humanize Harry and Meghan as well and stop the relentless assault. Otherwise, turnaround is fair play. <laughs> okay, whatever. They went for Meghan and now, as we innocently search for Kate, they are cooking up the great PR sympathy trash that has been leaking online already. We await the fake videos and more lies, Will, Woods and Thomas together, <laughs> what happened that night. Okay, so that's that. Let's move on. There's more. More comment, but let's move on. I have like 20 something plus tweets to share with you. Next one. And there were plenty and they all were good. It's just that I don't have <laughs> enough time to record all of them. Okay. Earl Spencer saying things as they are, as always, throwing shade or what? Go Charles Spencer. Don't you compare my sister Diana and what she went through to Kate. Quote, Diana's brother says, her press attention more dangerous than Kate's scrutiny and wonders what has happened to the truth concerning the Kate situation. This sound like a huge dig toward the royals and the British press, don't you think? He was pressured by the BBC to make a statement about the riff and said nothing. I just love this man. Well, there was a time, there was something that happened. I'm not going to go in full detail of it, but I didn't like the way he responded to it. I don't remember what it was, but I remember I was a little bit uh, disappointed at him. What was it? It had something to do with CNN as well. What the hell was that? But I remember I, I was very disappointed at him. But anyway, let's continue. He went by into the BS of the British press, not the royals. The BBC called him one if the most prominent aristocrats in the land. Okay, the Rangers burn. I have the thing open and then I'll come back to this. This is here. I'll be putting screenshot, okay? Let's see. Okay, there was a commercial. Let me move it back. If we look at what's happening now to the, around the current Princess of Wales, do you think the dangers of that online, almost sort of conspiracy world are more potent than the press intrusion that you have fought against? No, I think it was more dangerous back in the day. I think... Um, yeah, if I look back to 97 and Diana's death, I, I think that was so shocking to... The, 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 the circumstance of her death was so shocking that it did make the industry that supports the paparazzi really consider more carefully what it could and couldn't do. Not because they had a moral judgment, but because it was unacceptable. Uh, first of all, I try not to pause while he was talking 
the setting of this uh, interview remind me of the one that they did with Prince Andrew. The other thing as well, there was something that he said, the controlling, you know, you would have thought they learn from Princess Diana's thing, but instead they revamp, they revive that kind of uh, attack on her son. And then the other thing that popped up in my mind, to know that one of her son, William, also went on that same route to do what was done to his mom, to his brother. Okay, the link of uh, this article will be under the, oh, there's more. Okay, so luckily I scrolled down. I, I didn't plan on reading, but I just wanted to share that. But the link will be in the description. You guys could check it. It's already on my community board. I shared that already. Let's listen to this. Uh, if there's a okay, I paused it because of the commercial. Even before though you were sent away to school, you talk about some elements of your upbringing. You talk about your beloved dog Qantas having been suddenly put down, which you couldn't understand. You talk also about one of the nannies that looked after you and your sister banging your heads together painfully. That kind of discipline and perhaps that kind of violence. I mean, do you think that element of that at home had an effect on you and your sister before you were even sent away? I think that really damaging violence to children is going to affect them, whatever house they come from, whatever family they're born into. And that nanny who did that to us, I mean, I, she used to crack our heads together if we both found to have done something naughty, obviously without my father's knowledge. But it really hurt. It wasn't a tap on the wrist. It was a cracking crunch, you know, and I remember it still. And uh, I mean, I'm not saying this is right. They have this type of people and these kind of things have an effect on children until they grow up. Now, do the children who on who experience this as an adult will continue to do this? That's something I don't know. You would have thought that they will learn from it and say, this is something I will not do. This kind of thing. Okay, I don't know if I make sense with that, but it's very sad that uh, no matter what social class you're in, you human, things happen as anybody else on a different social class. Again, this is not to say this is okay, violence is okay, I'm not saying that. It's just that human will remain human and do behavioral things type of human. Now, how you control yourself is a different level kind of thing. And this is why I say those people who's doing those crazy stuff, every single one of us possesses them. Now, who has more control of their body from expressing these type of things? You know, I've talked about it before, but le let me finish with this because I have a lot to share with you. Uh, I, I think it emphasizes again the disconnect of parents. I'm, I'm really, I'm not a critic of my parents. They did their best like 98% of parents do. Mm, see? And I think again, it was just normal. You leave it to the nanny to deal with this. I, I have two older sisters and only later was it found out that the, the different nanny was punishing them by ladling laxatives down them and my parents couldn't work out why they were constantly ill so wow you're dealing with a very unstructured world of privileged parents living parallel lives to their children <laughs> but you and diana and your other sisters were then brought up even in a home environment where staff nannies who were hired to look after you were hurting you mm. again i don't think we realized that that was wrong we knew it was painful and we knew it was something we wanted to avoid. But I think children don't know morality necessarily at that hmm. stage, or certainly the law. So it was something that we lived with. Wow, very interesting. Okay, the link will be in the description, and I believe the article probably said more than what he says in the video. So there are two videos within the link. Okay, back to Twitter, let me read some of the comments. Diana then deserve what she endure, Kate does, end of story. Nobody deserves this kind of thing. This is the thing here we need to understand. Nobody deserves to be painful. Like I said in many of my videos, the body wasn't made to withstand pain or 
hurt or let's say if you have a cut for instance this is the simplest thing i could say because i'm not a doctor the minute you get a cut your body goes into full shock mode to protect the wound to protect your vital you know your body and all of that so nobody deserve any sort of pain but values understanding empathy especially empathy understand empathy when someone is going through something put yourself in their shoes what if it was you this kind of thing all right so there's 53 comment under it i'm not gonna go into it okay i do wonder what she will think of all of this what she will be saying especially to one of her boys especially princess diana because okay this is what i was saying um earlier you know no matter what you go through it depends on uh how as an uh, let's say as a kid you know they experience all the negativity and then as an adult how did they turn out to be now due to your experience as a child are you gonna be the same kind of person who inflict pain onto others or are you gonna be more sympathetic to someone because you know how it feel now from looking at princess diana's perspective this is not me talking for her but based on what she has displayed to the world look how nice compassionate caring that she was okay so she learned from her experience and understand the savagery of human behavior but she decided to be more caring to people who need help and things like that okay so that's that but when you look at uh, one of her son okay you would have thought that uh, he would have, have understand princess diana is a perfect example she created two boys not only now hearing what she went through as a child and all of that maybe it was over, already written someplace else i wasn't aware until now but she did explain some stuff with her stepmother and all of that that's from the docu series and all of that that's different but as childhood nanny banging heads and all, i wasn't aware of all of this until now but when you look at her not only she is the foundation let's say she is the tree she experienced the pain as a child and whatever and then when she became an adult she flourished and become completely different person from what she has endured now she created two sons two boys one of them completely of the savagery of what she had experienced the pain and suffering that she had endured from the nanny okay one of her son have become that and then he had display and show this type of behavior ever since he was a child. And then you have the other son, Harry, who's always showing compassion, which is what Princess Diana has become as an adult. Okay, compassion, caring. You always see Harry as a child picking up the puppy, wants to co caress the puppy, wants to, you know, be nice, be compassionate. And then as an adult, you see the same thing flourishing out of Harry. So Princess Diana was the perfect example of all of that. Okay, so that's that. What else? Uh, yet it's uh, T.W. Who's T.W. Who cosplay her? I don't know what T.W. stand for. Um, Catherine has never tried to be the next Diana. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, full interview. I'll go into that though. Thirty-two comment. Let's see here. Yeah, you got me there polka dots okay can you please explain the endless polka dots okay so there's all oh my god <laughs> wasn't this time where megan was there she wasn't even uh, married to uh harry i don't even think they met there it's just happened <laughs> it's just happened let me see the comment here this is really funny though get the picture of duchess megan was taken while she was in rwanda which was that's what i thought before she met prince harry that's what i thought it just happened oh my god but that's a good comparison though that that's what i was aware of before she met harry wow that's a very good comparison i like that though what she was trying to point out maybe the universe was trying to direct them i don't know when you look at for instance princess diana going to northwestern to do something completely different they never met each other okay completely different and then megan happened to go to northwestern and she's very proud of it i remember 
uh, when she was in that late night with Ferguson. And I think Ferguson was trying to throw a shade. And Megan was like, my parents love it. You know, she, innocently, she liked the school that she went to. What about uh, you? Have you ever studied law or went to college or went in Swanky? I, uh, I did go to college. I went to Northwestern University. That's the big one. Well, thanks. My, par my, my parents were happy with the choice. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a, I don't know that one. No. Uh, but that doesn't mean anything. I didn't even go to college. What did you study at college? I double majored theater and international relations, and then I went and worked for the U.S. Embassy for a bit. And, uh, Where? In Argentina. In Buenos That's Aires. sensational. You and then, um, you know, but that's a very good comparison. I like it, but it was before they even met. Before they even met. All right, so that's that. I will have comment, but I want to move on. It's already for something. Oh, my God. The night is really quick, to tell you the truth. But that's when I have my energy to do those videos. I can do them uh, during the day. All right, next tweet. Okay, say what now? This, I think I shared on my community board. Prince William wants Rose Hanbury to be accepted into the royal family. Well, the f when I saw this, let's say allegedly, okay, because these people are doing all sorts of things. When I saw uh, the headline, what I was thinking is like, he has no patient. Okay, he doesn't care. He's like, he's going to throw her down our throat. Not me, personally, but the UK, the taxpayers. You better accept her, this kind of thing. All right. Let's see here. For those passionately wondering about the source. So there it is here. I'm not going to read it. I could bookmark it. That's a, Let me bookmark that. Okay, so there's that here. This is better than <laughs> the crown by a country mile that's an ad okay this has no publication title no link someone could have made this in microsoft word in about five minutes <laughs> you have the headline google it sometime i do that yeah and this is why she put the the link here this this is what happened with the squad they don't like to share the links but um whatever but there it is here i'm moving on next tweet i'm already 30 minutes this is probably going to be two videos because i talked too long at the beginning Next tweet, I actually think Rose Hanberry has a soft, gentle, aristocratic kind of beauty. All right, so there's that here. Um, I responded to it somewhere. <laughs> yeah, my comment is there. Okay, was descent of aristocrats on both sides of her parents. Her maternal grandmothers was Lady Elizabeth. Okay, so this is her, all her background. Okay, I'm telling you, when people, the squad, are talking about Rose, like this one right here, the derangers come in, starting to give us a whole bunch of history about her. I'm like, I don't give a F how aristocratic she is. You're going to see in my comment. Okay, wow. She's very blue blood. There's that. Shame. She slept with me. Thank you. This is exactly what I think. Okay, she's another three in a marriage. Okay, no matter how much of a history of a blue blood, this aristocratic and all of that, she's still a H. That's it. This is it. Okay, there's that. Shame, she slept with a married man. Exactly. She chose, to, she, she chose to also engage. Can just blame her. Okay, so let's see here. My comment is here. Okay, oh, I'm totally blaming him too. I would like her more if she didn't. Exactly. I like this person's comment. Does she want the crown or does she really love him? Does anyone love him or is it still proximity to the throne? Okay, I think you may have hit on the root of the entire problem. Exactly. Yeah, there's me here. I didn't even see his comment. Okay, she's still to be in the marriage 2.0. <laughs> they all are messy hoes and the high. <laughs> let me. Okay, let me hope I read this properly without me laughing. Okay, she's still to be in the marriage 2.0. They all are messy hoes and the in the high society class, I'm not including the lower class in this messy mess. The lower class probably have them too, but they don't have the same platform to display their messy mess. <laughs> like these dirty aristos, just saying. And I correct my spelling here. Uh, what is it? Uh, R and K. Rose and Kate actually resemble to me. Nah, Rose has a long facial kind of thing. And Kate has a more, not flat, but the other... Rose is more vertical and Kate is more horizontal kind of thing. Uh, There's probably a, a, a term for it. I can't think. Okay. Uh, Rose and Kate actually resemble to me. Willie has a type. Both women have photographed well. But uh, Willie's look have fallen over a cliff and crashed on the rocks below. 
I think she's very photogenic. Very, um, then they say she's a, a model or something like that. Okay, very pretty. She seems kind of spirited too. Yep, the kind of that grows on you. Okay, now nah, she's pretty average. I don't know why suddenly people think she's beautiful, a beauty. Is it because uh, she's not Kate? There's a thing here. I know beauty is in the eyes of the beholder, but she's cute at best. I don't find her to be very attractive and not more attractive than aristocrat or not. Her twin boys were conceived while William and Kate broke up. Husband had house and friends with British royal family. She was engaged one day, married the next. Wow, twin arrived seven months later. William and Kate then got married. Wow. But if that was the case, if they were doing all of that, why didn't they just got married? Why didn't William marry Rose? That's what I'm saying. Uh, was William afraid Rose will take a spotlight like Diana did? Very interesting. Maybe she didn't want, um, I don't know. I don't know. I, I can't think of this mindset. Embrace the beauty of November. <laughs> uh, the issue isn't that she's not pretty. It's that her boyfriend is married. Mm. All right, let me move on. I don't want to spend uh, too much time on this. At the end of the day, she's still a three in a marriage 2.0. If the allegations are true. Only if the allegations are true. Otherwise, she's repeating the same thing that uh, the other one did. The, the William is repeating everything that uh, the father did. That's a shame. Okay, by the way, Kate Middleton's parents are bankrupt. That's all of that. It's not funny though, but here it is. That was 9 June 2023. Carol Middleton is desperately sad as her party supply business collapses. Carol Middleton, the Princess of Wales' mother, is said to be deeply disappointed about the fate of her business party pieces. I think I shared this uh, when she was going through it. There were people putting signs around her neighborhood that uh, they need their money. I think she buys stuff from people, from vendors, and then she got some sort of a loan. I don't know. And then she then paid those people back and kept the money or something like that. Allegedly, okay? I shared this on one of my videos. It's probably on this channel because at that time, PYTE was uh, demonetized. So I wasn't really putting that much. It's somewhere. Look around that time, June 2023. Okay, Cal Middleton declares bankruptcy as Prince William appears to do nothing to help her. Yeah. And then later on, you find out that she had received some loan and all that. The vendors were asking for the money. Okay. Uh, then she sell party pieces some times ago. She did sell party pieces, but did she pay her creditors? Okay, so this is what I was talking about. All right, so let's go into that since I mentioned, oh, it's smaller than that. Okay. Cal Middleton's party supply firm, Party Pieces, went into administration and was sold for £180,000. Middleton's in their £5 million home left me high and dry. These are the things that I remember reading. A small business owner who came to the UK as a refugee was betrayed over party pieces debt. June 9, 2023. An Afghan refugee and small business owner has accused the Princess of Wales' parents of betrayal for failing to pay thousands of pounds of debt before their business went bust. Carol and Michael Middleton's party supply firm, Party Pieces, was sold after running up debt of £2.6 million, including tens of thousands of pounds owed to small family-owned businesses, according to a report from the firm administrators filed this week. Right, so there's all of that. I could understand you don't have the money to... But uh, this is the thing. In running business, I think they went too big. If you know you can't afford it, don't assume certain things going to happen. Go small step, small step. Once you accomplished one step, you go to the next one. But I think she went too big and this is why it happened. Uh, she owes millions. But at least from the 180,000 pounds, she sold the business. I will say maybe show some good faith. Give at least, at least, I could understand the uh, other the other uh, business will want more, but give a little bit of something to let them know that you're trying. I don't know, maybe ten thousand pound. Yes, I know it's very small, but considering her, Carol Middleton is going through some stuff as well. Okay, but don't leave everybody dry. Give something at least to show some sort of a good faith. It's still small. I understand that, but at least it's something. 
They aren't bankrupt, that's the laugh. They are humiliated and that's enough for me. Um, eh, I don't know. Wow, they had a thriving business too. But during the pandemic kind of thing, I mean, nobody was... I, I remember the tabloid was making... I don't know if it's true, but I did share them on my, one of my videos around that time that uh, they're doing things, uh, thriving is going. And I remember saying, okay, who will be partying when during COVID when people were dropping like flies? Who will be partying? I remember saying that due to the headline that was being put out there. And this is the thing. They don't put a stop to it. Okay, if it was true false why didn't they put a stop to it that way as they move forward because this what i'm reading here um on this thing could have easily be manufactured but they go along with it so i do not know let me read this and go um go to the next one it's called karma the grandparents of the future king are bankrupt and their son-in-law doesn't bail them out two million pound is nothing in their world it indicates something sinister is going on Dick, what was it? I shared something. I don't know if I have it on, on, on the list, but I shared it on my community board where one of the royal rats was outing um, the Prince of Wales for mismanagement of the Duchy of Cornwall, something like that. Okay. So they have the money. They don't have to give all of it, but give something to help out. But they don't care. They don't care. The thing is that what the royal family have understood through Kate's side of the family, they want to be accepted so badly. They'll do anything to them. This is the thing here. This is why sometimes I say, the minute Kate married into the royal family, she become a doormat. They do whatever they want with her. And then this is why they hate Megan, the, uh, the tabloid, because not only Megan is tough. Harry literally then give them an ounce, a chance to even talk to Megan. Four times I asked the palace, or maybe three times I asked the palace, if we, as a, as a media group, could meet Megan, and it never happened. Because Harry know who they are, those royal rats. They, Megan will say something very nice in front of them, and then they go write their headline, completely 360. Perfect example. Uh, what's his name? Is it something low? Um, Valentine Law. Look at, I believe it was the South African tour. It's in one of my videos. Maybe two or three weeks ago, we were talking about it. Okay. Megan was saying something very nice. And then he went and said something 360. So Harry understood the assignment. And Megan, he was not going to let Megan walk into that, into the royal rat trap. Because he knows how they run. But the other side, you know, William understand, the firm understand that Kate's family, Kate's side of the family, you know, they'll do whatever they want them to do. So they walk all over them. So now with the bankruptcy thing that happened with Kate, allegedly, if it is true, okay, they could have easily helped them. But what they do when instead they're looking, they're watching from afar and then see how they could manipulate them some more. Okay, with their misery. Okay, if you want money, go do that. Like, for instance, what happened with the Big Brother show. Is it Big Brother? Whatever, where the uncle went. Who knows? They probably manipulate that as well. But anyway, let's move on next street. You see what's on the street. Oh, I'm saying on the street, on the screen. Oh my God, I have so much more. It's almost an hour. Next tweet. Kate Middleton wants to step away from royal duties after years of scandal. Report, good. Go away. She and Bulliam have said and done racist shit. All right, so there's that here. I'm not going to go into the article. I believe I responded to that as well. There's my comment here, but I'll read up to my comment. Kate let the Megan made Kate cry story go for two years and Megan suffer for it. Pierce Morgan outed Kate as one of two people who made comments on Archie's skin color. Kate acted like a bridezilla at the Sussex wedding and Kate wasn't the bride. One of something. Let's see here. She's playing the victim. Okay. So Megan and Harry blame for her stress. Nothing to do with the fact that she's notoriously lazy or her blazing woe with William. William and Kate never forgave Harry for walking away as he did most of the work while they took the glory. This I could never understand, but she's right. Where was she when stress caused by her and the royal family cause Megan to have a miscarriage there's that she wants sympathy nobody is buying her bs okay 
So what is that? This is uh, distracting. Don't believe it for one minute. The royal family and British media are turning on her. They're making her the scapegoat. In a couple of months, you'll be hearing about William and Rose are dating. Then <laughs> we, we vibe. There's all of that. Good. She can leave. <laughs> okay. So let's be here. The three parties need to sit in one room for the taxpayers to ask them some questions and answers. What's up with this then? I'm pointing down here. Prince William wants Rose Hanbury to be accepted into the royal family. Okay. Yes, I know it's British media BS. If Kate is missing and wants this, which is the top here. Where is it? Here. Where was I? Okay. And William wants that. <laughs> uh, that's a heck. That's a heck of a whiplash. Okay. So that's that. They both want something different. I don't know. Uh, what scandal? They're trying to get sympathy for the royal racist claim. Dream on. There's that. Okay. So let's go to the next tweet. I'm telling you, these people, phew, writing BS. I'm so glad that I did that video on PYTE regarding the, the tabloid, how it uh, came about, because this is exactly what I'm seeing playing here. Manipulating people. Okay. Next tweet. They lied. The latest news said Kate Middleton will not return to official engagement until after Easter. Prince William is also to disappear from royal duties for four weeks because his children will be on holiday. The British royals are really playing in their taxpayers' faces. Yeah, they are. So there's all of that. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Oh my God, this is blurry, but I'll try to read it. Because she is not set to return to official engagement until after April 17, when Prince George 10, Princess Charlotte 8, and Prince Louis 5 return to school after the Easter break. The Prince of Wales will also pause public duties to support his family during the children's four weeks holiday, despite the fewer over their Mother's Day family photograph. Uh, the Welseses are expected to release a new picture of Prince Louis to mark his sixth birthday on April 23. A royal aide said, quote, They appreciate the public's love and affection for their children and know there is public appetite to see them on their birthday. Why do I feel like I read this somewhere? Then they said that on, um, on their picture with Kate, the one that... Uh, Oh, come on. The one that uh, they call uh, they call fake. The one that makes the news around the globe. Okay, so there's my comment here. Let me read bottom up and then I'll get to mine. This is an ad. No, duty first or stepping up for Workshire Willie. 20 weeks annual school holiday off each and every year alongside Kate when they are part-time at best and between. Completely ridiculous. The air is born idle. <laughs> 60 staff, a nanny, and a personal valet, toxic British media. Okay. They have this much money and they can even serve their public. Okay. Distrust over the Kate Middleton saga threatened the royal family's $28 billion business empire. $28 billion. Hmm. The royal family controls enormous assets of incalculable value and they rely on public trust. Mm. That's a big robbery right in front of the public's. If they have that much, mm, that's up to the UK. So there's me here responding to that. Sincerely, we don't like this woman, and yet we have one about her condition. What wife of a president or future monarch will go out like this without lowering her dress? Quote, her fans. End quote. Her fans are so preoccupied with hating Meghan that they don't even see all the signals Kate is sending. Okay, so there's that here. She's worrying about that, but there's me here. But the signs were all there before she was married to the heir. So what does that say about the heir? Just asking or wondering. I'm like, this is not brand new. There's pictures of her you seeing between her, her leg without any underwear. Jeez. Sound all sophisticated all of a sudden. It's like, oh, da, da, da. but it was there before. Next tweet. It's like cry me a river. Okay, so there's that here. I'm not her fan, so I don't care. But it's shocking that her fans are even more unconcerned considering that family's history with women who marry into it. That has been quite revelation. There's all of that, exclusive from In Touch. Kate Middleton won't even record a video message to the public to thank them for their well wishes because the reaction would be massive shock and concern over her appearance. So what the hell? 
Just do. See, this is the thing. They think they're so perfect. You're putting all this pressure on yourself. <sighs> you can even be normal. But anyway, she's putting all, all that on herself. Allegedly, if is if this headline is actually true. All uh, right, let's read some of the comment and then move on. Plus, she's not returning at Easter. They're saying after April 17 now. Okay, they fent they're going to keep on pushing it, pushing it until <laughs> you don't hear about her anymore. They're fanatics for that cult and white supremacy only. They'll drop her like it's hard for both, particularly if she stand in the way of either. The same goes for these journalists who come to his defense, don't be fooled. The fact that, they remain silent and continue to act as if this photo is real is very worrying. This woman could be murdered without anyone defending her. They are there to protect William. That is true. Okay, so that's an ad. They just want to make her popular again since she's been tagged as racist. How do they fix that? Fade her out? Um, I mean, but if she is, she better embrace it. L look at the... <laughs> I hate to say this, and it's not funny, but the thing that goes in my head, when you look at the three in a marriage 1.0, <laughs> she has no shame. She has no shame at all. She embraces her stupidities. But it's very sad that people actually accept this BS from them. So if this is what she's doing and she's worrying about, then she's going to die, you know, God forbid, um, whatever God wants, um, a miserable because she's not embracing her true self. She went to the Cari to the Caribbean. She displayed her racist self. We saw it. So now that they call her out, allegedly, if it was actually true, I, I for some reason don't think she was the one who said it, but they threw her under the bus because they had a plan for her. They find this is the perfect time to throw her under the bus. And then this is why Omid's book was uh, tempered with. Because they were ready. This is the thing. These people, they, oh my God. They have no limit. The amount of lawsuit that I think I would have done with that publisher. Not the translator. The publisher who gave the translator uh, the thing to say. And I really feel bad for the translator. She just read what was in front of her. And translated. But the publisher, this is where their... They're, what do you call this? Their plan was started. Okay, they were ready for her to get rid of her. They insert in the book. This is the perfect opportunity to start it. Insert it in the book. Have it translated only in that particular language. And then once it start making noise, and then start the dripple. Okay, the cripple of things. Okay. Omid say he didn't say it. The book's available in a number of languages and unfortunately I can't speak Dutch so I haven't seen the copy for myself but if there have been any translation errors I'm sure the publishers got it under control. For me I edited and wrote the English version. There's never been a version that I've produced that has names in it. And then you have the other one out flat and say it on national television. I will never believe it but now we can start the process of finding out if they ever got uttered, what the context was, and whether there was any racial intent at all. Like I say, I don't believe there was. The royals who are named in this book are King Charles and Catherine, Princess of Wales. And then they run with it, and now she's disappeared, and then she's going wild. Well, I don't know if she's still alive. Okay, this was a setup. This was their master plan to get rid of her. And this is why you don't play with these people. Harry knew it. Okay, Harry was protecting her. She threw Harry under the bus to play along with the other brother. Meanwhile, they had a plan for her. You can't fool people who's doing evil things. You can't be part of that if you're not that type. Don't go alone. This is why I will never forgive her. Because she participated. If she had not participated, I could understand because these people are evil. Okay, just don't participate. And if they're going to yell at you, they're going to yell at you anyway. You were going to get the treatment anyway, no matter what. But if you saw it was wrong, don't participate. Meanwhile, they had a plan for her. So now she's dealing with her ba baggage. I mean, I'm not joining on bashing her. <laughs> like I always say, baggage for God. God is dealing with her in her own right what he sees fit okay the other one baggage for him too 
But anyway, I'm losing. Let me finish with this and then move on. There's that. Uh, you ain't never lie. Okay, I don't think she has friends or friends or even an identity. So she, there's the thing here or even an identity. It's like, like I said, she's just water. They want her to be this. She is this. They want her to be that. She is that. She never put a, a how do I, not a barrier, a, a defense or some sort of a, a value and said, no, I'm not this type. Don't make me do this. Okay, she was, her eyes were probably, in my humble opinion, onto the crown that she let her sense of self disappear if she ever had one. Okay, so she's been disfigured or something. Even if William punched her, wouldn't it have healed by now? I think actually, Voralis skew old and not much on social media. Voralis social media is probably all tabloid journalists and a botnet. And they're completely focused on poor Kate and William and anti Megan and Harry. The thing you're gonna get with the squad, we are Harry and Megan's defenders two and two. The only part here is if you want to break it down even further, about between majority of the squad or Megan's. Okay, majority of them are Megan's because the squad came because of Megan, the treatment that she was going. I was, I was never a fan or not a fan of Megan, but I knew of her existence. But the mistreatment that she was getting was uncalled for. So I'm for her two and two, no matter what. Uh, I'm just saying, okay, that's why my channel started. I wasn't even about any all of that. I was about politics and all of this, but this took me completely off. The injustice that was happening, okay, there aren't likely any real online fans, so nobody is here to express their concern. That is true, okay. It's the squad who's asking where's K, and it's the squad who saw the fake pictures. Whoever was trying to manipulate people, uh, eyes. And the squad call it out. Even the one before that, the three wheel, the squad call it. And I don't know where Epi came. I don't know if the picture of the three wheel, the three wheel was discussed on Epi's, I don't know, journals or website or whatever. But uh, all of a sudden, they coming with all those sophisticated this, we did that, and we discussed this and all that. Yes, I'm glad you all did this and then asked to get uh, the originals. And it's when you didn't get the originals, you decided to say it's fake. That's fine. I accept all of this. But I didn't need all of this sophisticated. I was even questioning the kid finger. That alone. And there's some people who went further. They look at the dress. They look at this misalignment. Zippers. This and that. I just look at the freaking finger. I was like, what the hell is wrong with his finger? And then the hand. The hand came. And I was like, it looks longer than a regular normal. And then I brush it off. And then the squad were discussing it and da, 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 da. And then bam. Anyway, let's move on. You know what? I'm going to stop here and create another video. This is where I'm at. And then that will be in video two. Okay. Oops. There it is here. I just did this. And I'm going to start the next video with that tweet. It's a video of GB News. Let me show you. All right. I don't know how many more. There's a lot more left. I talked too much at the beginning. There it is here. There's that here. That will be the next tweet. Okay? So let's pause here. So that's it. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share. If you want to support this channel, there's a PayPal link and a Cash App link in the description. You could donate. Like I said in the beginning of this video, there's a possibility I might do membership because some of you are donating um, through my channel. Let me see here. Let me pause and look for it. It's weird. I, I don't see it, but I saw it on my phone. I can't see it on uh, on here. I don't know if uh, the app on my phone is different. If I see it on my phone, I'll take a screenshot and show and share it with you. But um, the thing is that um, some of you are doing um, some contribution to the channel. I don't, you see, I can't even see it on here, but I saw it on my phone when I was, when I uh, lay on the couch and uh, yeah, so maybe I'll do a membership for those who wants to, but it's not going to be special, okay? You're not going to get anything special. You're doing it just because you want to support my channel. That's it, okay? Nothing special. And I believe my other channel was asking me about that. Wait a second. When I say channel, YouTube was um, saying for me to do it. Let me see if I, could see if I find it. Nope, I don't see it, but I was seeing all of them on my on my phone app. Okay, so that is it. Thank you for watching and thank you for your support. And um, 
yeah, I'll do the membership. Uh, I'll think about it still. Um, don't expect anything special. It's based on how you want to support my channel. Okay, so that's it. Or just donate to Cash App or PayPal. Thank you for watching. It is a great privilege to be with all of you today. You know, we want we ask for forgiveness and uh, and please come back. Thank you.